What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Sneaker Huddle. This is one of many on foot sneaker reviews that we have on the channel. Be sure to check them out. And if you're new to Sneaker Huddle, we would love to have you as part of the family. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Palomino is perhaps one of the most anticipated Air Jordan 1 Retro High OGs of 2023. And Jordan 1 so far for the entire year have been pretty easy to pick up. And a lot of sneaker heads are wondering, will that trend continue with this Palomino colorway? Because if these would have released in 2019, 2020, these would have been an instant sell out just like the mochas and speaking of the mochas we also compared these to the travis scott's which we did an unboxing of this video if you are interested in the comparison to these and the travis scott uh, original air jordan ones we will link it right there but let's get into some on foot shots now this air jordan one in today's video we opted for a light wash denim jean and this one has some distressed edges at the end now if you are interested in this specific pair of jeans i will link them in the products now there's many ways that you could style the palomino air jordan ones first you could go with all black joggers which we also styled them this way you could go with cream pants of course a black pair of denim pants is going to look really nice even darker blues of denim are going to look great and similar to how we did with the air jordan one wash black where we did 10 ways to style it we will do 10 ways to style the air jordan one palomino very soon so be sure to subscribe but my question to you is do you think that this palomino air jordan one could perhaps bring the hype of the air jordan one back we're going to get into it first off starting with the black synthetic leather that comes on the upper of the sneaker now this leather is not super soft nor or is it very very still if you have a pair of like the shadow ones i think the last time they released was like 2018 this black synthetic leather is pretty much the same thing so it's not the best of materials that we've ever seen on the air jordan one nor is it the worst and of course if you don't know that is a very smooth leather synthetic leather that we get on the upper of the sneaker now that black leather that we get on the medial and also on the toe wrap is the exact same black leather that we get on the ankle collar and then more black appears on the retro air jordan wings logo and this air jordan wings logo is embossed into the suede we have seen some air jordans in the past recently that have been debossed this one's embossed meaning it goes into the ankle collar and jordan brand opted to keep this one pretty simple we do get the black tongue and up top we get the black laces and one surprising thing about this air jordan one is that it does not come with a set of swap out laces which i do think black would be the preferred way for me to wear it and i think most people out there are going to prefer to rock this with the black just the way that it is it's really really clean now one quick thing that i forgot to mention that people would be upset if i did leave this out which I shouldn't is of course the box now this is a special edition box here that we do get in gold and black I'm not really sure what the colorway or the story will be behind this Air Jordan 1 they are going to be releasing in September but this kind of gives me some championship vibes perhaps that could be some of the story behind the sneaker once Nike gets closer to the release date in September but the colorway on this reads black metallic gold and palomino and the only other part of gold that is featured on the entire sneaker is actually on the Nike Air tag that is sewn into the tongue now the most interesting part about the Air Jordan 1 one palomino is of course going to be the synthetic new bug that comes on the toe also on the inner and the outer nike swooshes the legendary ankle collar and of course the heel of the sneaker now this new buck it is a very very low cut new buck and we did try to brush this in our unboxing video when we did compare them to the new buck or this way that we get on the travis scott air jordan ones and this new buck is not going to have too much movement at all as you can see there when we drag our finger back and forth you're not really going to see too much movement and then as we go to the heel of the sneaker and try to drag our finger back and forth not going to really see too much movement on it now a few people did comment on our unboxing video that you have to perhaps put mink oil on this to get the suede hairs to stick up longer then brush it and then you could perhaps see a little bit of suede movement that i have not done nor have i ever done it to any sneaker so this one being brand new i'm not going to try it just yet but if this is something that you have tried please comment down below and let us know how this worked out for you obviously it works or people wouldn't be saying to do it now the one little thing that i don't really care too much for the new buck that we get on this is that the material that they used is very very delicate and what i mean by that is that if anyone steps on the heel of this it is going to leave a big big scratch and there's even scratches on parts of the sneaker let me find them real quick like as you see there on the wings flap right behind the air jordan's logo it has come with a few scratches also on the inner part there you see a little scratch so this it unfortunately isn't going to be a sneaker that's going to hold up too well over time maybe if you do put that mink oil on there that that could change the type of the material to make it appear differently not really sure but this new buck on these palomino jordan ones is unlike any new buck or suede that we've received on jordan ones in the past it's not like the rookie of the years it's not like the turbo greens it's not like the wash black if there is one that i'm forgetting um 
it's possible, but I can't think of any off the top of my head that is similar to this material that we're gonna receive on this sneaker. Now, one detail that I really love about this is that it does come with a milky midsole, which I think matches up with the black hues and the earth tones of the Palomino's Nubuck overlays. And then underneath is of course the brown outsole. And the brown colorway pretty much matches up identical to the overlays that we get on the heel, the Nike swoosh, the ankle flap, and also the toe. Now, from all the on-foot shots that we've shown in today's video, do you think, comment down below, is is this going to be the Jordan 1 that could perhaps bring the hype back behind Jordan 1s? One of the most anticipated Jordan 1s, you know, dating years back was the Mochas. And this right here, in my opinion, I like the color blocking of this so much better than the Mochas. The Mochas have the white uh, ankle collar here. And it kind of, to me, it just throws off the sneaker. This one right here, I think is a lot easier to dress. Or maybe not easier to dress. They're pretty much the exact same tones, but I just prefer this color blocking. This is the original color blocking like we've seen on the Brad 1s, the Royal 1s, the Shadow 1s. And with Earth tones being a big hit in terms of sneakers ever since Travis Scott has come out with his. This is pretty much my ideal Air Jordan 1 in terms of the color blocking. I would have preferred a little better of materials on the new buck, but hey, these are pretty good. Now, my overall thoughts and opinions on the Palomino Air Jordan 1s is this is going to be a double up for me. I'm going to rock this. I'm going to do a wear test. I'm going to beat these until release day. So be sure to follow us on Instagram at Sneaker Huddle and we will post updates as we go along. But I think these are worth every penny on release day. Retail will be set at 180 bucks. When it comes to if this will have enough hype to perhaps resell, will it be an instant sellout? I don't think it will be. The reason why is I think a lot of people are going to be really hyped for this colorway, but Nike has increased stock. The economic situation that we've been going through over the last few years has been on the down and people just aren't buying $350, $300 shoes left and right like they were back then. And consumer spending is tremendously down. And that's not just for Nike product, Adidas products, or just footwear, that's for everything. So with the combination of the economical situation, I think that if you would like to pick this up on release day in September, you're definitely gonna be able to. Now, if we do see a shock drop or exclusive access or you know something where they drop early on any of the websites, we will tweet them out on our Twitter account. It's pretty much like you get a discord access for absolutely free all you have to do is follow us on twitter i will leave the link to that down below enable post notifications and every single time we see shock drops like we saw restocks of the air jordan 3 reimagined today you get those notifications for free now i think with the september release of the air jordan 1 retro high og palomino that these are going to be a big hit Jordan Brand knew what they were doing with the scheduling of this release just in time for fall. This is going to be on a lot of people's radar for top sneaker releases for fall of 2023. And this colorway is good enough to where it could stay on some lists for years to come. Now, when it comes to sizing, the Air Jordan 1s fit true to size. And these Palomino ones fit just like those. Nike's pretty good and consistent when it comes to sizing of these sneakers. Although the hype for the Air Jordan 1 has been on the decline for the past few months, I personally think this colorway is one that will stand the test of time. So let us know down below in the comments, what do you think about the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Palomino? The on-foot looks of these are super, super clean. Super happy to have this pair early. Definitely gonna double up in September. But let us know your thoughts on this sneaker down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Sneaker Huddle. Be sure to check out that video right there and subscribe to the channel.